Most people failing think it's a willpower problem. It's they're depleted and I feel like I just don't have any willpower and I do good for three days and then I stop. And I'm telling you, it's not that. It is environment. Your space, the people, the beliefs, the knowledge, the information that you're surrounding yourself is the number one factor stopping you. Here's proof. If you had the most positive attitude and you're standing in a freezer, there's no amount of positive mental attitude that will warm you up and your internal thermostat is gonna be set by your environment. That thermostat of life, of what you think you're worthy of, what you're capable of, you need to change your environment to heat your thermostat to another level to make your old high the new low to play a bigger game by just the people, the beliefs, and the mindset that you have. I know everything in my life from exiting my companies to raising money from Mark Cuban to moving to Kelowna as a family, all of those were byproducts of being around people, the environment, the spaces to expand the possibilities and horizons. And I wanna share with you three specific strategies that's gonna help you bring that into your life even faster. The first thing you gotta do is what I call a friend inventory. A friend inventory is asking yourself, of the people you interact with, who are the people that are pulling you down, that every time you talk to them, they're like questioning, what are you doing with that? And do you really think that that's a, something you could do? And like, have you ever concerned yourself about this problem? Or they're always telling you all the reasons it won't work. They're folks in your life and they could be family members and you can love them. And those are all cool things. I'm not telling you that you need to go find a new family. I'm just saying that you gotta do a friend inventory and figure out who's pulling you down and ask yourself, who are the people that are pushing you up, that are, that, are, that are talking into you positivity and possibility of what they see in you that you don't even see in yourself? That is one of the most powerful gifts that every human has if they choose is the power of belief in somebody else. It's why I do these videos is because I want to breathe into you your greatness, your power, your capability of what you can achieve in life and be that positive resource. The thing is that I'm not gonna be around for all the conversations and you're gonna go around and you're gonna interact with people and you've probably heard that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. I want you to be a little bit more deliberate about those folks that you allow into your world. You know, in our home when you come in, there's a sign that says, you're responsible for the energy you pull into our room because I know that even if I am friends with somebody that normally is positive and supportive and talks about opportunity, et cetera, that every once in a while, they can be in a bad mood. They might've got cut off on their way over to my house. They may have had a tough conversation with a team member. And it's not that obviously I don't wanna be empathetic and supportive of the person, but I do not want them to come in here and think that they can just dump on me, my family, or even worse, my kids, because they're having a moment. So it's very important that you consider making that list of people that are taking from you, those that are adding to you, and that might be zero. You might do that list and go, I don't have anybody like that in my life, and that is your opportunity. Your opportunity is this. Say no to the people that are keep asking you to do stuff, barbecues, weekends, parties, et cetera, that are taking energy from you so you can create the space to then finally find the folks that are positive. These are people in like running rooms, nonprofits, your church, CrossFit gyms, wherever it is, and ask of them, hey, what are you doing on Saturday night? What are you doing Thursday afternoon? Like start creating space in your life for the people that could bring positivity and support and Breathe into you your potential because it is huge. It's bigger than you can imagine. I believe that in my soul because I believe that for every person. So start with a friend inventory. The second thing to amplify your environment is your beliefs. And the way to pump up your beliefs is through books. I want to share with you four specific books that will allow you to build that network, build that environment, build those relationships that are gonna take your personal network, your room, and amplify it so that you have those people in your life now that you created some space doing a friend inventory. Number one is called Mastermind Dinners by my good friend Jason Gaynard. Super fun story. When he was considering writing the book, I actually had written this ebook about hosting founders dinners because him and I actually met through 
you know, hosting people for meals. I eventually spoke at his event mastermind talks. And I was just so passionate about him because he was doing dinners on another level, literally 25 people, custom menus, all this stuff, curating, facilitating. He even had question cards and prompts at the table. He took things to another level. So he wrote a book and it's called Mastermind Dinners. And it is one of my favorite books on the topic. So if you want to be inspired and overcome some beliefs to get you to host your first dinner with, let's just start with three other people. So you would make four. You want to read that book. The second most important book is Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. I read it like probably 15 years ago. And not only has Keith become somebody I consider a friend, I actually went and spent time with him and saw him execute the stuff in his book. He literally talks about all these different strategies he does with like two cell phones and inviting people to work out. Literally, that was what happened. I was like, hey, I'm going to LA. I'd love to meet in person. Invited me for a workout. Then we went to brunch afterwards at his favorite spot. And then he invited other people to the brunch for me to meet them to, to kind of like increase my experience, but also for them to meet me and me to meet them. It's just crazy how he did that. So highly recommend Never Eat Alone. The third one is the Bible for all of this. It's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And I have this funny story about the book because one day I had a team member coming over to my house right before she was flying out and she had her uh, luggage, her carry-on, and then this uh, binder because she was taking this you know, uh, Dale Carnegie course. And it's all about like, you know, going to events and remember people's names, right? Like the big part of like asking somebody's name and remember it and try to, you know, different techniques and strategies. And my father-in-law Caesar looks at the the course and, and just says to her, he goes, ah, that, that, that training, I took that a long time ago. Never forget a person's name that, that Dave Carnegie, that's great stuff. And she kind of looks at him and goes, don't you mean Dale Carnegie? And he just looks back at her and smiles because he knew he misset it. He was joking and she, she bought into it hook, line and sinker. So if you haven't read the book, go get that one. The fourth one is a new book that just came out by a guy named Joe Polish. He's the founder of Genius Network, arguably one of the most connected people alive today. And his book is what's in it for them. And I really love the strategies in it that talks about creating value. So all the other books have different approaches to kind of like the different areas of building a network and really building the belief that you are valuable as a person and you should want to share that with the world. But Joe goes into the specifics of not only trying to identify people that you want to stay away from, but also how to create value in very unique and non-obvious ways that I think all of you guys would really enjoy. So if you're looking for tactical mindset specific books to help you build your personal network, to grow the belief, to increase the environment that you find yourself around people and dinners and workouts and all this stuff. Go check out those four books. It will transform your life. Number three is better rooms. Here's what I mean by that. It doesn't matter where you're at in your business. If you're, you know, starting off and you haven't gotten to a hundred thousand yet, there's, there's a room for people that are a hundred thousand. And the key is when you get to that upper level of your room is to go find the new room, go find the hundred thousand to million dollar room. And then once you get there, go find the million to the $5 million room and the 5 million to the 10 million, the 10 to the 25. What I'm saying is if you are in a place where you have a network and you're part of a group, but you're on the upper end of that group, you literally got to go find the next one where you come into the room and you feel like the small person, you feel that imposter syndrome that you once felt. Cause what'll happen sometimes is you'll actually go from like, I don't have a lot of strong relationships to, I now have some and I feel good about it and I know how to add value and it's safe. But I'm telling you being safe when it comes to increasing your environment is not how you grow. You want to push yourself to find that next level room. It's kind of like if you're the smartest person on your street, move to another street, go find that next level neighborhood that is going to make you feel uncomfortable. It's going to push you. That's going to get you around people that are operating at a higher thermostat level that you just can't even imagine the, the thinking, you know, one of my uh, coaches and mentors, this guy named Ed Milet, he literally bought a house and initially just a piece of land in this place called the Madison club, which is one of the most elite neighborhood golf memberships to be part of. I mean, Tim Cook, Phil Knight, Justin Bieber is his neighbors. And 
just being there at his home, which is just spectacular. But understanding that as a young man in business, he made the conscious decision to move into that neighborhood, to up-level his environment, to be exposed to different ideas that were going to inspire him to play a bigger game. And that was part of a very strategic and thoughtful decision that's what this strategy is about, getting into a better room, is get around those mentors, those people, advisors, the um, the mastermind groups that are going to push you. My buddy Matt reached out to me recently. They're doing incredible in their business, $35 million going to $100 million, asking me, like, where's my next room? And here's the reality. You need to build it sometimes. Sometimes there is no existing room that's really built, or you're not aware of it, and it's okay to sit down and say, okay, I want to build my own. You know, Napoleon Hill talked about this in Think and Grow Rich. Design your mastermind. Identify people that are 16 months, two years ahead of where you're at and reach out to them and pull them forward and try to create value in their life so that you can build a different room. And you can do it online digital and just meet once a month. You can do it in person a few times a year. One of my buddies, Brad, they, uh, they have a mastermind with about 12 guys and every quarter, one of the members hosts the other members in their city and they cover all the costs and that's, that is the rhythm. And they've been doing it now for five, six years. And it is, he'll say, one of the most valuable things that he invests his time and energy in to really up level to find a better room. So that is my challenge to you is how can you invest in your network, in your relationships to be the small guy in your room, your metaphoric city room, the mental room you've created for yourself or physically around the people that are in a room to make you feel like there is another level for you to strive for. So if you've been struggling with willpower, realize now it's environment and it's time to up level your environment. Now I know I mentioned a few books, but if you want to get my top business books, all of the best books, I've read over 1500 books and I've distilled them down initially for my young cousin who was starting a business and he said, what book should I start with? I put them together. You can click the link below to download your copy. Hope this video finds you awesome and I'll see you next week.